Hello everyone, this is Jennifer, your services librarian in Umma Public Library. How are you guys today? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do Steam Kit that you can pick up from the library. So the first pick Steam Kit that I'm going to show you is called Coffee Filter Chromatography. Basically, uh, for this kit, you're going to try Coffee Filter Chromatography and make a butterfly. So paper chromatography is a method used to separate mixtures that uses paper and solvents like solvents like water. To do this experiment, you will be using coffee filters, cup water, and washable markers. Most non-permanent markers use inks that are made of colored pigments and water. On a coffee filter, the water in the ink carries the pigment onto the paper. When the ink dries, the pigment remains on the paper. So try to have fun with this experiment and during this video, think about these questions. How fast the water travels on a coffee filter and see how the color can travel and spread through the filter with water. And how does the direct contact wall water on the filter change how colors bleed? And for the butterflies, talk about a butterfly life cycle and visit our Woman Public Library homepage to explore more of more facts about butterflies. And uh, there will be more information in the Steam Kit with the directions, so have fun with that. These are the materials that you will need, and then they will, which will be included in the Steam Kit. So coffee filter and pipe cleaners and washable marker and cups. You can use any cups at home. So yeah, feel free to use any cup. Uh, but I, rec I would recommend clear cups at home and water. So these are, yes, the very simple materials that you can find in the bag. So here's a kit. The coffee filter that you can use. And I have a washable marker. So I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to use purple, which is my favorite color. And I'm going to draw a circle in here. So I'm going to draw a circle. It will be a pretty big circle. So I draw one line. And you can actually make the line a little thicker by drawing around it one more time. So something like this. So I drew three circles in different sizes in the filter, so it's around the center area, but avoid this, um, avoid this areas as this uh, part will go into water. So it will be, so you can draw three circles like this and avoiding now this. Now I'm going to fold this coffee filter in half, so I'm going to fold it like this and then I'm going to fold it one more time like this and then one last time like that so I, I pour some water in the cup I think this might be a little too much water so I'm gonna uh, pour to the other cup and let's try this first I will make sure it doesn't touch the color directly. So yeah, so it will look like this. Just a little bit of water on the bottom that it doesn't directly touch the colors. So right maybe here, just below the colors, washable marker um, part. So it will be like this. So do you see all the colors spread throughout the coffee filter as the water touches the washable marker? So leave this like leave it like this for like a few minutes, and when you uh, see the colors fully uh, spread throughout the coffee filter. I'm going to take it out and then dry it on the tray. And 
and make sure you use newspaper or tray on the bottom so that the color doesn't smear on your desk or in your house okay so it looks like this it's not dried yet actually I'm gonna maybe wait few maybe a few more hours before I make a butterfly so I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna actually use a different um, coffee filter to show you how you can make a butterfly uh, using actual colored filter so I have this coffee filter which isn't wet so and a pipe cleaner so basically I'm gonna actually roughly fold this in the middle like this so you have some like a like some shapes around it so it, I'll show you again so it'll be like you will just fold it in the middle very roughly and then using this pipe cleaner I'm gonna tie it so I'm gonna like a, wrap this around like this and then twist it and, and I'll bend, bend this one around like that so this will be your butterfly with all the colors after drying it okay I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you pick up your steam kit at the library and have fun with that. Okay. Bye guys.